I was talking with a client the other day and they asked me, why do we have patient safety rules? And it's a great question to ask. Let me give you the answer. Hi, come on in. I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law here in the state of New York. You know, there are patient safety rules designed for the benefit of the patient. Right? There are standards that are established by doctors in the community in which they practice. And there's board certifications, which means that doctors in their specialties have achieved a certain level of certification, which is the highest level of certification they can achieve in their particular specialty. And those standards are the same whether you go to a doctor in Brooklyn or Queens or Manhattan or any state in the country. And those are important. Why? Because they establish the basic standards of care. And when you have basic patient safety rules, what happens is, no matter what your condition is, no matter what your problem is or what your complaint is, the doctor is supposed to adhere to those same basic safety rules, no matter whether you're in Brooklyn or the Bronx or Queens or Manhattan or Long Island. And that's critical. And that means that the safety rules are the same for every doctor everywhere, and no matter what specialty you're in. And those basic standards must be lived up to. So now when a patient is being treated, when a doctor is talking to a patient and trying to evaluate what's going on, there are certain things that the doctor has to establish in order to determine the basic level of safety care. If the doctor violates those patient safety rules, significant things can happen. The patient can suffer significant injury, or maybe the condition is not diagnosed in a timely fashion, when instead certain tests and other diagnostic studies should have been done, when in fact they weren't. The purposes of having patient safety rules is for the benefit of the patient. It's to also help the doctor understand that, listen, there are certain things that you have to do when treating and evaluating a patient, and if you do not do those standards that you are required to abide by, then you're going to be found ultimately to have violated those standards, and if that violation of the standard of care resulted in harm and loss to the patient, you may be ultimately responsible for those injuries. So why do I share this great information with you? Well, I share it with you because this topic came up while I'm talking to a client involved in a medical malpractice matter, and they wanted to know, why do we even have patient safety rules? And the bottom line is, for the benefit of the patient, and so that the doctors all understand that there are basic standards of care that must be met when treating and evaluating patients. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you because in all likelihood you have questions or concerns about your own particular medical malpractice matter. Well, if your matter happened in New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. I do this every single day and I welcome your call. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. Well, that's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski coming to you from New York. Have a wonderful day.